in order to understand Chopin, we have to consider the whole question of tonality. Now, let me, let me play a little piece by Bartok to illustrate a point I want to make. What key is that piece in? Well, my late colleague, George Shandor, was violent on the subject, really violent. It's in C major, it's in C major. Now, I'm getting to Chopin in a second, but if you think of it in C major, then this, Sorry. If you think of it as two different keys, think of it as one thing or you can think of it as a as a dialogue which is certainly suggested by the fact that Bartok has written the right hand with four sharps and the left hand with four flats now the reason why Mr. Shandor felt so strongly about this and about three works of Chopin which is what I'm getting to the second scherzo the um, the second ballad and the fantasy is that it is customary to talk about these pieces as starting in one key and going to another. In other words, the fantasy. Very clearly establishes F minor and very clearly in A flat major with a plagal minor, a minor plagal cadence. What are we to say? Uh, Mr. Shandor felt as Europeans, European theorists have often felt, Schenker in particular, that the tonality of a work is, is the thing that it's, it's, it's like, it's the soul of the work. And you can't have bitonality because a person has only one soul. 
So it was necessary to say this, the fantasy is the fantasy in A flat major. The scherzo is the scherzo in D flat major. And we were told by the way that Chopin referred to it that way. The, the ballade is in A minor. Schumann says that Chopin, he heard Chopin end the piece in F major, but that's because Schumann didn't hear the whole piece. The, the, the piece was never intended to end except in A minor. Now, as I say, I was with Mr. Shandor once when we saw a concert poster, it was in Tel Aviv, and we saw a concert poster saying scherzo in B-flat minor. And right there on the street, he got very angry. He was generally a very gentle and nice man, but he got very angry. He said, it's wrong, it's wrong, it's wrong. I said, well, George, consider the fact that a concert poster is supposed to transmit information. And if you say scherzo in D flat major, nobody will know what the piece is. And he thought about it and he said, well, then there should be no key mention. Now, I'd like to, I'd like to find a, a compromise position in all this. The fantasy begins with an extended introduction in F minor, but then the rest of it is a kind of glorified sonata form with a, with a, uh, a, a trio section stuck in the middle. First theme. <laughs> then in these themes is not exactly two different keys. We hear a, a twin key. This is Jekyll and Hyde tonality. And always Hyde is first. <laughs> Tonic dominant in the uh, dominant, um, the minor dominant is is our high and so we have a twins tonality. The piece is not in A flat nor is it in F minor, nor is it in F minor and A flat. It's in, as I would say, F minor hyphen A flat major. And it's, it's one key with a certain kind of movement within it. The same thing applies to the other pieces. But finally, it's always moving towards, towards the light, towards uh, uh, the, the major key. In the ballad, it's moving towards the minor key. And there it's particularly striking because when the minor comes back at the end, You have, of course, is the the major. 
major idea. That's the minor idea. And at the end, the thematic material that has been minor has become major, becomes minor. That's in a way the most striking of these three pieces because there's not a, a relationship between F major and A minor. And so you feel the, the stark difference between uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, who are, are, are played by, <laughs> by different characters in the, in, the, um, in the music. There was a, a movie directed by Luis Buñuel called That Obscure Object of Desire. It was the story of a man who is obsessed, obsessively in love with a young woman. And to the viewer, it takes a while before you realize that that young woman is actually played by two different actresses who finally don't look like each other at all. And so the, what you're getting is the, is the subjective perception of, of the man who's so crazed with love that um, he doesn't realize that, that they're two different people. Um, there's something a little of that in, in the F major, A minor ballad. Um, so, I think uh, that more or less finishes what I want to say. And I think we have time for, for questions if uh, anybody would like to, or arguments or disagreements.